Non-ribosomal peptides chemically look like proteins, but are biosynthesized in a way that resembles polyketides. They are recognizable based on, first and foremost, a peptide backbone. It is also typical to see modified side chains on the amino acids, or methylation of the peptide backbone. As a black box, an NRPS inputs amino acids and various cofactors, such as s methionine and ATP, and outputs a polypeptide. Like type 1 polyketides, non-ribosomal peptides are organized as modules, which are further organized as domains. Each module is responsible for choosing an amino acid and adding it to the growing chain. Each domain typically has an A, PCP, and C domain. Activation domains recognize the amino acid, activate it through reaction with ATP, and transfer it to the peptidyl carrier protein, or PCP. The condensation domain, called C, catalyzes the transesterification of the chosen amino acid onto the amino end of the growing peptide. In addition to these three domains, a module can contain methylation domains to add a methyl group to the amine in the backbone. It can also contain oxidation, epimerization, and reduction domains. These domains create additional diversity through modification of the peptide backbone. At the end of the synthase will be a transesterification domain to release the peptide. This last step is analogous to that of PKS systems and can similarly lead to macrolactams, macrolactones, or free acids. It is very common to see hybrid PKS and RPS products. The two classes of proteins are evolutionarily related and structurally similar. Usually it is the peptide built first which is used as the initiating carboxylic acid for PKS polymerization. Here we have a primarily a polyketide synthase, but it is initiated with an amino acid in one step of non-ribosomal peptide formation. In the final product, there is a thiazole that originated as alanine and serine. This is the portion of the molecule built by the NRPS domains. We have already discussed the role of A and PCP domains. This NRPS module contains Psi and Ox domains. These are alternates to the C domain we saw in the more typical case. They perform the condensation step, but also the cyclization of the cysteine side chain with the backbone to form a ring, and subsequent oxidation of the heterocycle to a thiazole.